What's going on guys and welcome to the video on two-pointer algorithms in C++. In this video, we'll be discussing what two-pointer algorithm is and how it can be used to solve problems efficiently. So, let's get started. The two-pointer algorithm is a technique for solving problems that involves searching for a target, value, or a range of values in a sorted array or string. It works by maintaining two pointers, usually called left and right, that traverse the array or string from both ends towards the middle, and usually stopping when the two pointers collide. The general idea behind two-pointer algorithm is to use the pointers to define a window or a range within an array or string, and then adjust the pointers based on the value of the target or the condition being searched for. Here's a simple example in C++. This algorithm uses two-pointer technique to find a pair of numbers in a sorted vector that add up to the target value also known as two-sum. The pointers are initialized to the first and last elements of the vector. Left is at zero and right is at the last element. And then the two pointers are then moved towards the middle based on the sum of the values of their respective positions. A sum, we then add the left element and the right element. If the sum is equal to the target value that we're looking for, we return true. Else, if the sum is less than the target, we increase the left pointer, otherwise increase the right pointer. We will keep doing this until the two pointers collide, and then if that happens, we will return false. One of the main advantages of the two-pointer algorithm is that it can solve problems that have a time complexity of O of N or less, which is much faster than the brute forced or nested loop method. The two-pointer algorithm also saves space by only using two pointers instead of creating an additional array or using other data structures. Some common examples of problems that can be solved using the two-pointer algorithm include finding a pair of numbers in a sorted array that add up to the target value, finding a subarray in an array that has a given sum, finding a subarray in an array that has a given product, checking if a string is a palindrome, finding the longest substring in a string that is a palindrome, and finding the intersection of two sorted arrays. As you can see, the common thing among two-pointer problems is that the technique is particularly used for solving problems that involve searching for a target value or a range of values in a sorted array or string. So anytime you need to search for something in an array or a linked list, always think, oh, two-pointer, I can use two-pointer. And if you can't use a two-pointer, move on to another algorithm. So that's all for our video on two-pointer algorithms in C++. I hope that you now have a better understanding of what the two-pointer algorithm is, how it works, and the types of problems that can be solved using this technique. And don't forget to practice this two-pointer technique. I will list down some problems in the description that you can directly, after this video, go and try and solve. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.